Getting the right PC case is more important than many people think. Having a case that can provide you with an array of options to suit all sorts of hardware and components means you're giving your hardware the best, most optimal space possible, and having the case look good too is a great bonus. Hey there, I'm Sarah from Thermaltake Australia, and allow me to introduce you to the last case you'll ever need, the Thermaltake Divider 500. The Divider 500 is 520mm high, 230mm wide, and 466mm deep. This means it's easily the heaviest hitter in our divider series, but it's still a mid-tower. It also leans towards the taller side, so you have tons of space for all sorts of hardware inside. The case comes equipped with three standard 120mm ARGB front fans, which can be controlled either via the button on your front I.O. port or through your motherboard software. Coming in both a sleek black or snowy white edition, the Divider 500 is an incredibly versatile case. For starters, it features a split panel design down both sides. These panels are interchangeable, the case coming with two alternative offerings too. So if you want a fully tempered glass side panel, you can have it. If you don't, then you don't have to. There are so many ways you can configure this gorgeous case, meaning you can choose a style that suits you. The Divider 500 also comes with a 3mm thick tempered glass panel on the top and front. However, this case is also available in an Air Edition, featuring mesh panels on the top and front instead, for even more sweet, sweet ventilation. The Air Edition, however, does not come with the three front pre-installed fans, but it does come with a pre-installed standard rear fan. So if glass panels aren't your jam, the Divider 500 has a style to suit you, with so much emphasis on providing you with peak functionality and options galore. Clearance and hardware support wise, the Divider 500 will not let you down, whether you want a simple air-cooled build or something more complicated. The Divider 500 can support a CPU cooler up to 170mm high, as well as a graphics card of up to 390mm in length without a radiator. You can run a PSU with a length of up to 220mm without an HDD gauge, as well as a total of two 3.5 inch HDDs and five 2.5 inch SSDs. Or, if you ditch the mechanicals, a total of seven 2.5 inch SSDs. Finally, fan-wise, you can fit a total of three 140mm fans at the front or two up the top. You can also fit a radiator up to 360mm at the front or 280mm at the top. So water cooling is certainly on the cards. The Divider 500 also comes with a whole variety of unique features that make this case stand out from the rest. Firstly, if you're concerned about airflow in our Temper Glass Edition, we've got you covered. The Divider 500 comes with a platitude of spots of ventilation, including on the sides, front and rear of the case, as well as at the intersections between the side panel divide itself. Additionally, the Divider 500 comes with excellent dust filtration, including a magnetic removable fan filter on the inner right side, front and base. Lastly, the Divider 500 comes with rotational PCIe slots and a riser support bracket, so you can easily vertically mount your GPU if you wish. Opting for an aesthetic appeal that caters to both gamers wanting a sweet setup and the interests of the most hardcore PC building enthusiasts, the Divider 500 has it all. This is a case that has so many options, from hardware configuration to even the way the case itself looks. So if you're looking for a case that's efficient and practical while still leaving plenty of room for oohs and ahs, look no further than the Divider 500. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, please leave us a like and pop any thoughts or questions you may have in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and ding the bell to be notified each and every time we upload. And while you're still hanging around, why not check out any of the Thermaltake we'll videos that'll be somewhere on the screen, hopefully, if we haven't forgotten to put them there. And we will catch you in the next video. Ooh.